The so-called modern day society has invented the most irresponsible way to deal with environmental destruction. And I refer in particular to the urban, industrial, capitalist society. The easiest way for them to repair the damages is to say, we will pay for it. And, and how are they going to pay for it? We will pay the damages by sponsoring carbon dioxide sinks. A, a story they invented as a tree captures carbon from the atmosphere and converts it into foliage, leaves and fruits, and gives of oxygen. So now they are going to promote the commercialization of the biological functions of a tree. They have converted the trees into a new commodity. Millions of trees. This is their new business venture. It's completely absurd. How is it possible that we are going to use our native forests to pay for the contamination of all of these other countries? Here we still live in natural ecosystems, which have a great diversity of native species, cedro and arayan trees, as well as sangre dago, which has medicinal properties. And they have been replacing this ecosystem with exotic pines, a species which causes many environmental problems here. The Proquenca program started here in 2002. I decided to get involved in the reforestation program as I'm conscious of the environmental problems of our planet. They told us, plant the trees and we'll pay you an incentive. Although, what they didn't explain to us was the reason behind these incentives and the fact that maybe we're doing more damage than good. They told us that we were going to trade certificates we don't know what these certificates really mean, neither how much we're going to receive in money. I even thought that maybe we would have to fill up sacks of oxygen and put them up for sale. <laughs> The government has been delegating to private individuals its obligation to protect the environment, in this case, using what they incorrectly call reforestation contracts. These are not genuine reforestation contracts, but rather a simulation. These contracts started six years ago. They originated in an agreement between Infi Manizales and the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, a contract in which the city of Manizales invested more than 8.5 million US dollars of public money. The FAO created the Procuenca project, which was supposedly going to reforest the Chinchinat River catchment. However, Procuenca is an international business related to carbon dioxide sinks.
Here we are standing beside the Black Lake. It is the water source of the river Chinchinat at an altitude of 3,700 meters. These cloud forest ecosystems are known as paramos and are unique for capturing water. For me, it is totally contradictory that they propose to implement a plantation here, precisely in an ecosystem like this. I totally mistrust the type of species that they are going to plant here. It is impossible to replace the function of the natural vegetation, which captures horizontal humidity, as we can see in the landscape behind us. We also know that these plantations are never permanent, as sometime they are going to be logged for commercial timber. This source provides water for 2,700 people in five different rural localities. The conflict is due to the deforestation that the Procuenca project caused here. The project came and encouraged people to plant trees, but they never gave any environmental advice. They never said, here we have a water source that needs to be protected. If you're going to plant trees, plant them at a distance of 300 or 500 meters from water. Respect the water supply. The project, which was supposed to protect the Chinchina River, ended up affecting many local rivers and streams. This is where the environmental problems of the first world are created. The majority of us who implemented these plantations live in difficult economic and social conditions. We accepted the project as a means of survival. We planted almost 1,200 trees per hectare. The goal is to harvest 300 per hectare. When I started planting, the corporation began to pay me the money. 90% of the incentive goes towards my debt, and the other 10% goes to a forest capitalization fund. 